Belle Perez and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating this makeup look for you guys. Pink eyes, like everything pink, it's super pink. So if you guys would be so sweet to leave a color down below of what look you want me to do next or any video idea that you have, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, make sure to like the video so that I know that you like videos from me. And subscribe if you have not and hit the notification bell so that it notifies you every single time I upload a video just like this one. You guys need to ignore my hair this time because, uh, you know, I don't need to explain it to you. It's not new. The hair, we're not talking about hair today. We're talking about makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off of camera really quick because, oh, you know what? I'm just going to fast forward. I always, always use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I never like try anything different. Let me know what you guys use. Um, maybe I'll try something different. I've been wanting to try the Benefit uh, something. But then it's like I'm so comfortable with this product that I don't want to change. So I have been doing something different to my eyebrows. Um, so I guess I'll walk you real quick. I'm going to go in with any brow gel will work. But this is the essence. So what I've been doing is just combing my brows up. Kind of doing like a, what do you call it? Um, obviously non-permanent. Uh, brow lamination if you guys know what that is um, And I know soap would probably work better, but I don't want to go to the store just for soap You know what I mean? Like we're in a world pandemic so, and, and dry my brows like so Let them dry really good and then I go in with my pomade and I just fill them in per usual And I try to go upwards. So I kind of try to follow the brow hairs um, Yeah I have missed you guys, but I do want to start um, doing a lot more makeup tutorials because I know I have like completely gone away from there. And honestly, like right now, especially right now in these times, makeup is what makes me happy. If you follow me on Instagram, um, if you don't, I'll link it down below or I'll put it here on the screen. Um, I've been posting looks like almost every day, not really every day. But yeah, I've been like just doing makeup because it's very therapeutic and it just like puts me in a good zone and right now you just gotta find something that makes you happy that makes you relax takes your mind off of things and do it so i also noticed that when i do my brows like this i don't have to use a lot of product like it really just um fills it in really nice like oh, i feel like i get them a lot better There's no idea what i look um I'll, i mean obviously by the title you'll probably already know what I look I've done, but we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna think about it. I was thinking yellow. I was thinking something summery. I appreciate it if you guys leave it in the comments down below what color of makeup look you would want because I'm gonna start doing them for you guys. I promise I want to at least put up one like full makeup look once a week. I feel like recently that I've been at home or any time that I've had downtime, I've been looking up old videos like the makeup dudes and like just everybody's filming. I feel like everybody's on reset and we're going back to film like the videos that we started with and it seriously makes my soul happy. Like watching dupe videos and watching like what's in my trash or what, what are they called? Like what videos like what trash you know? Trash whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Yeah, I've been watching those type of videos, especially high-end dupes because, I mean, of course you can order online, but, you know, drugstore is like somewhere you're allowed to go right now for the moment. And I was thinking about testing TikTok makeup hacks and stuff like that. Like, let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that because I want to film a lot, a lot, a lot. Even though I already have a full-time job, and right now the salon's closed, so I don't have that job, but I'm going to be very busy, but I will make it happen. I always have no excuses. All right, so I've been doing that, and I forgot to do the first step. I usually clean them up first, but it doesn't matter. We'll go do that right now. I'm going to go in and quickly clean them. So yeah, like I said, I feel like this way of doing brows has been super fast for me. 
I just only need to fill in like the sparse areas because once you like laminate your brows down, I feel like it really just fills in the spots that you need and, and you end up not having to fill in your brows a lot. So. Alright, so we got the brows done and I can't stop looking at my ugly hair. I'm sorry. Friend, my hairstylist is actually in the hospital with her sister that's sick. So prayers out to her. It's a horrible situation and it's just it's hard for everybody. So prayers out to my friend and her sister and her mom who her mom has it at home. So uh, when it just hits home, it hits different. I'm gonna do my eyes first. Um I started to do this now that I've been like doing eye looks or whatever. All right, I then like to go in with my Milani primer and just prime all over the eyelids. It's not like I need my eye makeup to last all day because I'm not going nowhere, but we can pretend. We'll, we'll be getting ready for my couch today, guys, so quite fun. I just put this on. It really helps like help your eyeshadow last all day. It really, really does. Um, this one I really like. It doesn't have too much pigment, um, I mean coverage, but I use it anyway and it works all the time. So so next, seeing as I might be going into a bright eye look, I think I am. I'm going to be going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade White. Who all, come on guys, who remembers the Jumbo Pencil? Like this was everything back in the day and I bought it yesterday because I was like, you know what, let me... Let me go there again because it's just so like nostalgic. So I'm just going to quickly apply this all over my eyeballs. And honestly, I just rub it in with my finger. Nothing too complicated. Ugh. But then I did notice like it's not super, super opaque, opaque, but that's okay. I don't think it needs to be that serious. Like it just needs to have like a little nice white cast. Which it does that, you know? Well, it's actually in the camera, it looks white. I'm over here talking about it not looking so white. Oops, scratch, scratch that. My husband is quite mad with me because of my accent. He's quite not happy with me just doing a complete accent. Um, I can't help it. I don't know what happened to me. Um, I have just quite kind of, I've gone quite mad now that I'm in quarantine so he's quite angry with me and it's just rubbish for the last four hours I've been talking nothing but in this accent and he doesn't quite like it mm -mm. nope okay so we got one eye down <laughs> I know I look crazy but I am crazy Guys, I freaking, right now we are like cleaning out my garage and I found a coin. And if I find it, I will post it up. I got rid of it, it's in the trash. She can go quite to hell, I'm just kidding. But uh, there's a lot of like, I don't know if I've even done story times, I'm pretty sure, of like paranormal things that happen. And there was this coin, guys, I found this coin here. I'll put a picture here. Scared the bejesus out of me and explain to me what the hell because <laughs> i'm scared no but we got rid of it i don't know where it came from but if you want a story time on her let me know just trying to find more content but see how it kind of turns purple man i look real cute right now like hold your man back hold your man back because he can't <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this cute little glittery brush and I'm gonna put it into my setting powder and this is what I set my eyes with. So I'm just going to set the pencil. And I don't even know if I really do like the white underneath. I'm just trying it out because I used to do it back in the day but I honestly don't think I knew what I was doing so we're just gonna like try it out. Maybe I shouldn't have done it because it probably will ruin this look. So if it ruins this look, I'm sorry, we tried. Makeup is makeup and you just do what you can. So I don't know what I want to do. Ooh, or do I? I was thinking like very orangey. So I'm gonna quickly decide, get my life together and decide, do one eye and I will be right back to do the other. Well, all right, it looks like I found out what color I wanted to do my eyes. So we're doing pink. Alright guys, so the first color, first shadow we're going in with is My Pills from the Conspiracy palette. 
Just take it onto the Morphe M518 and we're gonna pack this on the crease. Okay, next I'm going to go into the Ticket to Brazil palette. I love this one from BH Cosmetics. Going in with this dark pink shade. I'm actually going to change brushes. I'm going in with the Sigma 236. All right, next I'm going to be going in with the hot pink shade just above that other pink shade. Okay, so to further deepen the look, I'm going in with the Not Effect. And then the last shade I'm going in with Trisha. It's just a really bright pink. It's very like shimmery. I'm just gonna take onto my finger and just press it into the middle of the eyelid. Okay, and then taking wrench as well. And then also to highlight my brow bone. In the inner corner. And then also to highlight my brow bone. I like to go in with the makeup wipe and just clean it all up. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Alright, next going in with my e.l.f. Jelly Pop, my favorite primer, like in the middle of my face and my T-zone. Alright, then going in with my L'Oreal True Match in the shade Vanilla 2.5, going in to the face with this. Alright, so I'm just going to apply with this e.l.f. brush. Alright, and then just going in with the Real Technique sponge and just blending it around. Alright, 
All right, so I'm just gonna add another light layer. I don't really go, I don't ever go in with like super thick coats anyway, as you can tell. I mean, I do on my nose area. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Age Rewind. This is the corrector, um, yeah, an eraser. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set my eyes using Fit Me Powder in the shade 10. Just gonna lightly dab underneath. I'm not gonna really go too crazy with baking today. Cream contour, I go in with my Wet n Wild Wears Walnuts bronzer. It's just a really dark shade like this. With the nose, I just literally use my finger. And then I like to take my Luxie um, 650 Precise Angled Brush and then I just start patting everywhere that I put the bronzer. It just helps me blend out everything really nicely. contour you don't have to go so hard if you don't want to but that's just how I like to do it and then I'm just gonna go in with my fit me powder and set the rest of my face set my whole face with base powder I like to go in with a bronzer and just bronze it up a little bit. So today I'm gonna to go in with Matt Give Me Sun and I'm just gonna bronze the face a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Give Me Sun as a blush today. So I just pretty much go crazy with the, with the bronzing. Just gonna to touch a little bit of this one. This is the Flower Beauty Flower Pots PB2, and this is in Peach Primrose. Take a really subtle peachy shade, and I'm just gonna mix that with Give Me Some to give it just like a real nice bronze, real nice like bronzy shade. Cleaning up with the Fit Me, just a very little cleanup. So for highlight today, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with the highlight. First, I'm gonna go in with, um, this is the Wet n Wild, I think this is the Petal Pushers, is it? No, Petal something. I'm gonna do it at the high points of my cheek. Then over top, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the um, Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. Like I said, I'm going in with the, with the freaking highlight today, like a lot. Okay, and after all is said and done, I'm just gonna go in with the Hard Candy Long Wear Setting Spray.
Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M165. I find this brush amazing, amazing for like the under the eye. For the All right, and now just applying some lower lash mascara. I love using um, so extra mascara. It is my favorite for the lower lashes because it's so thick. And like once I just start applying it, like guys, it freaking. I already messed up, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then we can flick it away. But I wish Winky Lux would make this formula into like a skinny little mascara wand. Oh my god, I know that one would just go crazy. That one would be like. For lips, I was wanting a different nude shade, but we're gonna have to go with this one because I don't know where the other one's at. This is the Naked Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia, and then I'm just gonna go over top with this lip gloss. Um, it's called Clear, and it is from LA Color, so. completed makeup look I don't really think the lips go too good with it but it's not too bad it's a nude at least but yeah guys I have some quarantine hair so again I'm very sorry about that there's nothing I can do right now but yeah that is the completed look if you did like it please give the video a thumbs up also hit the like button so that I know to upload more videos like this more makeup videos and also leave a color in the comments down below on what look you want to see next yeah thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys stay safe wash your hands and i'll talk to you in my next one bye